One of the service members killed, Sergeant William Jerome Rivers, had ties to New Jersey. Fox 5's Michelle Ross joins us live in studio with more on the soldiers who were killed and what experts are saying about whether this attack will escalate the conflict in the region. Michelle. That's right, Steve and Natasha. Since the Israel-Hamas war began on October 7th, there have been more than 150 attacks on American military installations by Iranian-backed militias in Syria and Iraq. Sunday's attack, though, was the first to target American troops in Jordan and the first with American troops killed. The three American troops who were killed in an overnight drone strike at a U.S. military outpost in Jordan have been identified. 46-year-old Sergeant William Rivers of Carrollton, Georgia, 24-year-old Specialist Kennedy Sanders of Waycross, Georgia, and 23-year-old Specialist Brianna Moffitt of Savannah, Georgia. No Blue Star family ever wants to become a Gold Star family. And sadly, there are now three more families on that roster. The drone strike happened at a U.S. post known as Tower 22, an army base in Jordan near the Syrian border. The enemy drone was mistaken for an American drone, expected to return to the base at the same time. Former senior U.S. counterterrorism official Javed Ali explaining how this could have happened in an interview on the 6 o'clock news. It's not surprising that it got mistaken for a friendly drone because we're all the U.S. Uh, military is also flying these surveillance drones uh, of where we have our mm -hmm. troops station and it could have been launched at night too making the visual observation even harder and these drones are not like conventional military aircraft they don't have insignia of the government that's flying them officials pointing fingers at iran-backed militant groups in syria and iraq the iranian government denies any involvement saying resistance groups act on their own resistance groups across the region do not take orders from the islamic republic of iran the u.s says it does not see seek another war or seek to escalate conflict in the region. But we will absolutely do what is required to protect ourselves, to continue that mission, and to respond appropriately to these attacks. And of course, Kirby said he would not share details, but did say that the president met twice with his national security team and is weighing the options. Steve? Very well. All right. Thanks, Michelle.